the bronze bomb of Deontay Wilder, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, 40 wins, zero losses, coming by way of 39 knockouts, an historic record in the 100 plus year of the sport of boxing. But why he's not getting his just due by the American public? Why he's not getting supported by the American public? Deontay Wilder should be up there like a LeBron James, a prestige athlete all around the world, recognized by the world. But what is happening by the American market, the American media, that they don't push Deontay Wilder the way he deserves, just like ex-champions in America, like Sugar Ray Leonard, like Mike Tyson. What is going on? What is going on to the American public? Are we so, so used to hating and hating fighters especially instead of supporting fighters like other fighters get supported by their by, by their own country like Triple G gets supported by his country Conor McGregor gets supported by Ireland Pacquiao gets supported by Philippines like Miguel Cotto gets supported by Puerto Rico like Canelo gets supported by Mexico what is going on with America and the patriotism not to support our our Boxer, our champion, our fighter. Why he just can't be likable? Why he just can't be respected? Why is Deontay Wilder not the most prestige athlete holding the greatest title in the whole world? The heavyweight champion of the world. What is going on to the American Patriots when it comes to, our, to supporting our boxers? That's the problem. It's not you, Deontay Wilder. America is the problem. So we letting Deontay Wilder out there on and out by himself. The American public is not trying to support our fighters and our boxers just like everybody else. Just like every country holds their champion in a prestige level, higher, like a king in their country. What is going on in America? What is going on? What? You want somebody to just be a villain? You want some drama? That's what it is. That's what it is. Why does uh, an American boxer has to be a villain to be likable? Why does he have to portray a gimmick so he can just get the attention that he deserves? He does it in the ring. He's the most exciting fighter of all of comeback sports. I don't want to hear it. It's not arguably. He's a heavyweight champion. 6'7", with the right hand of a bullet. Of a bullet. Knocking everybody out. Knocking almost everybody, everybody down that he's ever faced. That's the excitement we've been urging for. Everybody want to talk about, oh, the Floyd Mayweather ever was boring. Oh, he was boring. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Now you got an excitement? You was booing Floyd Mayweather. All you wanted something exciting. You didn't want to see nobody run, huh? Wasn't it? Now you have this prestige, this monumental athlete, this historic athlete, this historic fighter right in front of you. And I see when he goes to one of the events, the last fight that he saw, they put him in the, in, in the big screen and he gets booed? Booed by the American public for what? For what? That's what we, what, this whole nation ha, uh, like adopted the Apollo, um, 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 way of, of, of supporting or seeing or witnessing our, our talent. Just we, we go into the pile just to boo. Huh? What is going on with y'all? Huh? Why American people can't, can't back, can't back black America, white America, Latino America, just America in general? Why we can't be patriotism to our own American fighter, our, our, our champion? Why not? Huh? What is going on? What is going on? He's given us what we want to see. Deontay Wilder, you, you just don't, we've been waiting for a heavyweight like this for such a long time. We clamped on Mike Tyson for such a long time because he gave us the excitement that we really we want to see. He gave us that. And maybe it's a promotional issue. Maybe should Deontay Wilder take a little responsibility on why he's not that prestige like other athletes? Maybe he's not, he, maybe, he, um, Oh, um, he doesn't have a promotional team. Maybe because he was an Al Heyman. We don't know. We don't know why. But it just seems weird to me that we've been searching for a heavyweight, an American heavyweight, for so long. Just think about it. We've probably been searching for an American heavyweight like this for the past almost 20 years. 20 years plus. And you can support and stand behind him and cheer this man? I'm talking about the overwhelmed cheering. I'm not talking about no 12 or 9,000 cheering. He should be packing stadiums. 
He should be packing it. We should get behind him. I want to see all American flag around Deontay Wilder. Huh? Hasn't he represented us enough as a fighter? Huh? Look at his background. We all want to like, we like talking, to, we, we like to see all other people's background or how they, how they was raised and how they come up from the slums and things of that nature. You know what? Deontay Wilder got a story. How about valuing his story? How about putting out there to, his story to the masses? What is going on? Why? Y'all not getting paid enough? Huh? Is it worth him to be hated? Huh? What is going on? 40 wins. Knock out every man he's ever faced. Every man he's ever faced. Why gotta be a villain? Floyd Mayweather didn't have to be a villain. His skill speaks for itself. Roy Jones ain't had to be a villain. And look the way we treat Roy Jones Jr. after his retirement. We just threw him in the dirt. We just we don't even talk about him no more. We just pfft. Because we're a bunch of haters in general, not me, but us in general as America. We are a bunch of haters. That's what we are. It don't matter that it's got these people. That they, I, that's why I love fighters. I respect them. They are my modern day gladiators, my modern day warriors. I love to see what they put their, 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 their wills and the cojones they have because a lot of people don't have the heart that they have. A lot of people don't have the cojones that they have. But a lot of people like to trip, trip, trip and talk over the media and try to discredit and try to disrespect them from afar. But at the end of the day, you love them. They have something that you wish you had. Huh? They have something that a lot of humans in this world don't have. Deontay Wilder got that at the highest level, highest supreme level. We got to give support to our fighters. And I'm not saying that, oh, Canelo getting supported by, let's say, Mexico. It's saying, like, that is beautiful. That is probably the most beautiful thing as a fighter. That's one of the beautiful thing as an athlete that gets supported. Sometimes money is nothing. When, you, when the career goes away, you don't have money. All you have is walking around with respect, just like Mike Tyson. He walks around with respect. We don't want to give Deontay Wilder his blessings and his support when he, just, when he got Parkinson's disease, God forbid, like Muhammad Ali. And then, then you want to call him the greatest. Because when, when Muhammad Ali was fighting, y'all was booing him. Y'all couldn't wait for his downfall. That's the reason y'all still want to see Floyd Mayweather fight. Because you can't just wait for his downfall. Why you want to wait for a dude's downfall for? What? What does it do to you? What is going on in your life? You, you, that insecure? You, you, you're losing yourself? That you just want to see another person fall because you're down there? Huh? How about taking the motivational things about it? How about you go in a video and watch Floyd Mayweather work, Floyd Mayweather work out and probably, and, and probably get motivated to do what he does for 20 plus years? Why do you get motivated? Why do you get motivated about Deontay Wilder's story and the way he is a great father? Huh? Why do you, you get motivated by that? Why we don't get behind the good things in America? Huh? Why we don't get behind it? Why we don't get behind our champion? Deontay Wilder, he deserves that. He deserves it. He puts his there, his blood, sweat, and tears. And all we could do is so easy to give support. It's so easy to be like, you're the man, champ. I'm glad that you're American champion. Why we can't, why he she should be selling out stadiums. He should be going out there and, and, and getting medals and things of that nature. I remember when Mike Tyson, he used to be, they used to fly him out to other countries. They used to treat him like royalty. 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 Deontay Wilder deserved that same, that, 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 that same respect, that same support. But over here, what we gave Mike Tyson, huh? What do we give here, Mike Tyson? Huh? A bunch of media called him a rapist, called him whatever, all, you, all, all the name of the book, huh? Couldn't wait to see his downfall. But even when in his downfall, we got so spoiled that we wanted him so we wanted him back. Huh? It was wrong what they did to Mike Tyson. And us, the black community, did not support him. Us, America, did not support Mike Tyson. We let him drag our champion down. But you know what? Mike Tyson goes to every other country. He get the utmost respect. Not before and after that fake conviction. That's what you want to wait for Deontay Wilder to really, really hate him? Huh? You can't love what is good and what is great. Support our champion. Deontay Wilder, you are our champion. You are the greatest athlete today because you hold the most prestige title. I remember in America, the heavyweight champion with the most prestige title, not just in America, the whole world. 
Because the sport of boxing is not an American thing. The sport of boxing is not a UK thing. The sport of boxing is not an Asian thing. The sport of boxing is you competing with the whole world. It's a thousand million men that want your spot. And you are the main supreme. You are the king. And Deontay Wilder, with his record, is the king of comeback fighting. And us, America, got to stand behind him.